I am super excited to show you guys my sweet new Tesla. It's in the garage. We're gonna head right over there and check it out right now. Wait a minute. Yeah, well, it's just a dirty, empty garage. What the f is going on here? It's probably, I think I left it out front. We're gonna go out front and check it out out there. Okay, that's my daughter's Nissan. That's my truck, that's my Avalanche. It's definitely not a Tesla. This is my son's Nissan Cube. So it's back over here. I'm sure it's back over here. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> there I found, it's right there. It's right there. Hold on, check this out. It's... Ah, there it is. Isn't that a beauty? Look at that. Would you look at that? Look at this. Now, this is a Tesla Model S small drive unit. So it's the uh, 300 horsepower motor with the AC inverter and pretty much everything that I need to make my own Tesla. So now we got to find something to put that thing into. So let's have a look at what we got here. So we've got the Ultima. That's still, it's got 400,000 kilometers. That's still running pretty good. I'm not, not going to convert that to a Tesla. We've got the Avalanche. That thing's still running really good. I, I like my Avalanche. It's got the Chevy 5.3. Don't need a Tesla in there. We've got the Cube. Don't think we need the Cube. Let's go in the back and see. Maybe there's something in the back that we can find to put that Tesla motor into. So there, there you go again. That's the Tesla motor. This is my dirty garage. This is the shop that all the magic happens in. Let's see, we'll shut that door. Let's see, we'll go in the backyard. Let's see what we got back here. Let's go for a quick stroll to the back. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got the ice drift car. It's been parked for the winter. You guys have seen this before. Now this has the Subaru 2 liter, 2.5 liter. I'm not actually totally sure what's in this thing, but this thing's been a stellar drift car. And actually I told my son he could have this. So we're not gonna put, do any modifications to that. But what have we got here? Ho, ho, ho. at that this is a 1966 chevy c10 step side pickup truck complete with a totally rotten rear box some old tires let's check inside here let's have a look inside here. Ooh, look inside Ooh, it even smells like an old truck it's got some funky wiring over there Got the original steering wheel, got a cracked windshield, a little bit of surface rust, nothing too bad. But let's see what's under the hood here. Let's pop the hood right there. Ugh. Ugh. Not strong enough to open this thing. Look at that. It's like begging, begging to have a Tesla put in here. So obviously this is the perfect candidate for our Tesla conversion. We're going to swap that Tesla motor into this truck. We're going to do the full swap. We're going to put the batteries in. We're going to wire it all up. And we are starting a very, very ambitious project. So let me show you a little bit more about this truck, just so you can see what we're starting with. So as you can see, there's no engine in here already. And there is a bit of a story that comes with this truck. I bought it off a guy here in Alberta, and he bought it as a project. I guess it had the engine in it and he found out that it was seized. 
So he pulled it out. I think he was trying to fix it and then just didn't get around to it. And for whatever reason, he doesn't have the engine anymore or didn't want to sell the engine to me. But that's okay because I knew that I wanted to do a Tesla swap on something anyway. Now there's a lot of character to this truck. You can see like missing body panels, creased doors coming around over here. You've got, this is all just totally rusting away, but every single dent on this truck tells a story. And I just love the idea of the story on this truck. So I am not going to do anything to the body. I love the fact that this thing's so used and abused. Even on the inside, like there's going to be a little bit of repair work needed because this, if I lift this up, there's not, there's not even a floor pan here. So obviously I'll have to make a new floor pan somehow, some way. I can see, I can see the road through the side right there. But everything on here is so manual, like the lights, very manual, the steering wheel, the signal lights, like everything here is so manual. All our fan control, those, are those broken? I'm gonna have to try to make some fan control knobs for that. Maybe I can 3D print them. I've got the seat here in behind the seat. It's been covered in burlap. It's been chewed through by a mouse at some point. I mean, it's not too bad. I don't see too many mouse nests in this thing. We got the old gas can or the old gas tank in here, which we'll probably just take that out. I don't need that. Ooh, whew. I don't want to breathe that dust in. But for the most part, everything is here that's needed to make an electric truck. Now I know what you're asking yourself, Anton, what makes you qualified to make an electric truck? And I'll be honest with you, absolutely nothing. I am not qualified to make an electric truck. But if you saw my other video, I did make an electric side-by-side -side Jeep. And that went pretty well. It actually went ridiculously well. And so I thought, it's time to ramp this up a little bit. Let's make an electric truck. We are going to make an actual Tesla truck. We're going to throw a 300 horsepower electric motor in there. Rear wheel drive, we'll slam it down, put some nice wheels on it, leave the body all exactly how it is. Just really ugly looking body like it just rolled out of a field somewhere and it's driving down the street. I'm super, super excited. I can't actually tell you how excited I am for this project. Now that brings me to where we are at right now in this project. So currently, as you saw, I already have the Tesla motor. There are a lot of components that I still need and a lot of learning that I need to gain for this. So my goal for this truck is very, very simple. I'm gonna list it out for you. This is a budget truck. I wanna make the electric car that you guys might be trying to make at home when you don't have access to a lot of money or a lot of resources. See, you can look on YouTube and you'll find people who seem to have unlimited amounts of money building their own electric vehicles, but that's just not reality for so many of us. So I bought that motor quite inexpensive. We will talk more about the motor in future videos because I need to test it and do a lot of stuff with that. But I'm trying to build this thing as cheap as possible. So I'm gonna use the bare minimum of everything that's needed. There's some key core items that are needed to make an electric vehicle, but a lot of people are really kind of making it more fancy than it needs to be. Obviously, if money's no object, you can go to AEM. They'll sell you everything you need to do a Tesla swap on pretty much anything, get all the electrical working, and. Make Make it work so that's not us that's not this project we're going to make this work on a budget using wrecked car parts and just putting it together and seeing what happens you're going to want to join us for this journey i'm super excited there's plenty of videos coming up but pre-warning i'm at the stage right now where i'm just collecting stuff to actually be able to start the build the real build is not going to start until the fall here in canada which is going to be sometime in october I will be doing live streams as I work on the truck in the shop, but I'll also be doing some prep work and I'll be bringing you guys along for the journey. When this video series is done, you will know everything that we used on this truck and you could follow along and build your own electric conversion at home. Shameless plug. If you are in the industry and you know how to do stuff like this and you wanna reach out and offer some support, maybe you have an interest in helping sponsor this truck, Keeping in mind that we are shooting for a budget, so I would need to know what the items would normally cost, and I'm only gonna use the things that I have to use to make this build work. But some of the big ticket items, like the batteries, I gotta figure the batteries out, they are not cheap. So if you're sitting on a pile of Tesla batteries and you're wondering what to do with them, send them my way, I'll shout you out in my video, and you'll get some credit that way, and we'll see if we can work something out. 
but lots of really exciting stuff coming on gears and tech we're not just technology we got the gears in here too you're gonna be excited i promise you Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.